It's a lot of stuff right there. Okay. But uh, um, the first thing I want you guys to do is just take one second, and if you guys could write down your on your uh, form here, if you could just write down your five-year goal as to where you guys want to be, and that way as you're asking me questions and you're kind of interrogating me tonight, you'll know if this is going to be a right fit for where you're going. Um, a good example might be, you know, if you have a certain income level you want to get to, uh, or your app you want to maintain, if there's any questions you have or anything, just kind of your five-year goal, five years, if you were to go with farmers or some other organization, where do you want to be? And that'll kind of help us get an idea of where you want to go tonight. We'll break that into a one-year goal. As far as one year from now, assuming you started with this company financially, how much money would you like to be earning at that time, realistically, in your opinion? Um, for any of you guys who know somebody who might have worked in the insurance, in the insurance industry, you probably have heard different things, good or bad, as far as what the potential incomes are like. But a one-year and a five-year goal. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to skip down to the part where it talks about the financial vehicles because I just want to go over this with you guys real quick. Um, the four different vehicles that you have, the first main financial vehicle out there, basically I want you guys to view farmers as kind of a vehicle to get where you want to go. Or in this business, or my business, the DJ company, I started a DJ company not because I wanted to uh, grow up and be a DJ when I'm 65, but it's more of like I wanted to be able to feed myself and make an income that I wanted to, and the DJ company was just a vehicle to get there. Now, I was passionate about it, so it helped me out, and I was passionate about where I was going, but I want you to kind of view this job as just a vehicle, because I don't think anybody's too excited about selling insurance, unless you're John or me. But, uh, okay, so um, as far as the vehicles go, you have one, you have the employee. And I would just like here, if you guys can just take some notes there on this, if you have anything that comes to your mind, any new information tonight. Employee, um, what is the main benefit, in your opinion, to being an employee that you, you know, could see as being a benefit? Anybody have? Yes, sir. Security, maybe? Security, yeah. And I'm going to just, and I'm going to say, from my perspective, as a self-employed person, I a lot of times envy the security that employees have because I know sometimes my kids, like my kids, one of my, my son actually is in the hospital tonight again, and you know, as a self-employed person, you have your own insurance, you've got your own things, the bottom line, if you don't perform, you don't earn, and it's sometimes in a, uh, when you work in a bigger organization, you might be able to take 10% uh, of the time off, people might not know, you know, that you're hitting the coffee a little bit that day and kind of coming in late, and uh, whereas uh, self-employed, I mean, it immediately affects your paycheck. So the security aspect of it's probably nice. Um, what's another positive about being the employee? Anybody have something else that's you know? Well, you're responsible for stuff, but when something really goes wrong, people aren't really looking straight at it. you. Okay, I'm going to go with pass the buck. And the less you are our EDS friend back here, who's uh, been in the business a long time, where you've kind of brought a point where you're in control of things. The single throat to choke is how I like it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, the, the, the single throat to choke. Um, I will say this, in basketball they don't fire the players, they fire the, fire the coach, that's kind of the philosophy. Self-employment world, same deal, a bride gets mad about her wedding, she doesn't call the DJ and say, yeah, I would like to talk to you about Jason. She calls and says, I want to talk to the owner, I want to talk to the owner, I want to get this dealt with. So again, pass the buck might be a good thing if you're in a lower level. Now if you rise up to a higher level of employee status, that might not be true. Um, what's a negative about being an employee? What's a, a drawback? Why maybe you wouldn't want to be an employee or maybe a drawback of... Your earnings potential is limited. Okay, there we go. Earnings potential limited. Um, I'm going to say this too. I, I don't know. I think if you're a super aggressive person in the corporate world and you over deliver, you get there, you know, early. You stay late. You bring new ideas. You're constantly improving your job skills. Your earnings potential can raise, but I don't think necessarily you can control it to the level that I would like to, from my perspective. Um, I'm the kind of guy who looks down on a piece of paper and I decide how much money I want to make this year and I'm like, okay, that means I have to do 55 conferences this year. I have to speak at 55 events to make what I need to make this year and then I will just hit the phone and schedule 55 and I'm done. Or in the corporate world, I might hit 55 and they might not necessarily reward me for that sometimes. So it depends on, depends on where you're at. Earnings potential, what's another drawback of being employed? For me, it's chi. I'm just going to write down chi, the overall chi. Like, I want my office to smell a certain way. I want to have in my office, I want to listen to R&B music. And I don't care if it offends you, because I want to own my own office. That's my thing. You know? Like, I want to design my own logo, if I can. 
I want to have my own website my way. I want to have the unhold music that's funny. You know, that's what I want. If you guys call the office there and ask me to put on hold, I promise you'll laugh. It's hilarious. But that's what I'm all about. So for me, the cheat thing is a big thing. Just be able to control my own destiny. Okay, so employee, you got the, the benefits and the negative potentially. Okay, the next thing, the next phase that we're moving on, the next vehicle here is the self-employed. Mm -hmm.